New at five, we already have electric cars. Now we also have electric planes. Florida Tech is the first American university to get to fly this thing. And Fox 35's Alina Shirazi is one of the first passengers on board an electric plane. Electric cars on the road, and now even an electric plane in the sky. Buckle up. I'm taking you inside the first of its kind plane. You're looking at the Velis Electro, Florida Tech's new electric plane. The first electric aircraft flown in operated by an American university. And we got to take a ride on the taxiway. I'm sitting inside the electric plane right now and I'm with the pilots. All right, so how are we going to get this thing going? Well, like any other airplane, the first thing you have to do is you have to turn on electrical power. And we'll do that with this switch. It's called the master switch. We have to wait for it to do some self-checks. And then once the self-checks are complete, we can turn on, and there's the last one. We can turn on the avionics, so we have our instruments. And then with the electric airplane, instead of starting the motor, we turn on the motor batteries. And then once they come online, we'll turn on power to the engine controller. After making history, you're now the first passenger in an electric aircraft in the United States. That's amazing. This tiny two-seater is waiting for U.S. certification, so Florida Tech is flying it experimentally, helping the Federal Aviation Administration learn more about the plane by providing data from the first 50 flight hours and reaching new heights for aviation students. We teach students how to test new airplanes, and having a brand new airplane with this technology is exactly what we want our students to see. This is the... Uh... We call this firewall forwards. Florida's former associate dean, Isaac Silver, is the pilot on board. He flew the first flight test with the plane. Electric flight is going to be with us in the near future, maybe 2030, 2035. So being able to be first and getting a glimpse at uh, what the future is going to be for small aircraft, I think is very important for the students because they're training now for a career in the future, and here is the future. In Melbourne, Alina Shirazi, Fox 35 News.